When you wear Lolita to graduation, you're going to look like a bag monster. Hey pop stars, it's Cake Pop Clara and welcome to the CPK community. I am a 20 year old recent graduate and that is going to be the topic of this video. video, video, video. I wanted to talk to you today about basically my experience through college wearing Lolita fashion to my portfolio night and graduation, why it's so crazy and I feel so happy that I actually made it to this point. subscribe if you want to gain confidence to wear kawaii and lolita fashion okay honeys boop, boop, boop. let's be our cutest together so a little bit about me i actually ended up going to four different high schools all four years of school so i went to like i grew up in a small town of 800 people and i know how tough that is and i actually had the opportunity to move to milwaukee when i was 15 years old and I ended up going to a charter school. They actually wanted me to leave because I was sleeping in class. Rude! I ended up moving in to this other small town my junior year and um, it was like a marsh town. It was like marsh people living everywhere and that was funny. Basically my junior year there I dropped out and I moved back here. My original plan was to just lay low and when I was finally able to attend college I would go to MATC where I graduated from and I would just skip high school because I hated it but um, with my own strength and my own willpower I actually decided to go back to high school my senior year because I realized I hated working at this custard place. Food service is a big no-no for me. So basically, yeah, it was kind of crazy going through school. I was always a smart student, but I kind of got caught up in everything else stemming from it. some insecurities and wasted talent and potential and also just not having like a proper family structure. Ugh, we can get more into that in another video. But basically, so I decided to go back to high school I moved in with my older sister who I still live with now and uh, it was not, it was, <laughs> it was okay. I'm glad I made it through but I started going to this technical college right away after that and I've always known I wanted to be a graphic designer or something along those lines because I've been using Photoshop since I was really, really little. I was making freaking Neopets pet pages super amazingly, adoption pages. I was doing a lot for webkins, making fake ads, I don't care, websites, I don't even know. So basically I kind of always had this idea in my head of what I wanted to do. But if I would have stayed on the path that I was going, who knows what could have happened to me. And so only this last year of college, this is a little segue by the way, a little segue, baby. Boop, boop, boop. So now we're in college times. Yeah, I started wearing Lolita this year in school. I had some pretty funny experiences with it, but let's fast forward all the way to graduation week. As a designer, what I had to do was put together my whole final portfolio. I did procrastinate on it a little bit, um, so I was up late doing everything. My dilemma was, should I try to dress professionally and try to mimic something that I'm not really in my heart, or do I just dress how I want to and wear Lolita there and hopefully people uh, don't punch me in the face <laughs> and so I went with my gut because basically in my portfolio everything matches my aesthetic and my personality I want to do the same thing through my design work as I do on my channel which is spread positivity and kind of just um, use my creativity in a helpful and awesome happy sunshine way it's funny basically I just got a lot of people saying oh your space is so happy and I just I really appreciated that it's so cool and it's just crazy that through all the hardships I've faced, I've had so many jobs since I started school. I would be working three jobs at a time while going to school. I'm just happy that I made it through and I wanted to share a little bit with you about my story and hopefully inspire some other creative Lolitas or creative people who maybe want to wear Lolita or just people who are cool in general. I just, the takeaway from this is I want you to be yourself no matter what you choose to do in life. Because if you are putting up a front, and it doesn't even necessarily mean for um, because you're egotistical or because you're too confident, but it also could be because you're scared of expressing how you truly feel on the inside. And that is basically, you're just living in a prison within yourself. And any ambition that you have could get lost 
in the fact that if you're acting a certain way the whole time you're climbing to achieve your goal it all of a sudden when you get placed in a tough situation you're not going to know how to handle it as yourself and it's going to cause a lot of turmoil and it's going to hold you back a lot so i really think that no matter who you are you should just be able to express yourself and just say what's on your mind and be very empathetic to those around you but then also know when somebody doesn't actually understand what's best for you so all my lolita girls and all my people about to go to college you're gonna do awesome you can always message me if you have any questions all my designer friends thank you so much for helping me on my way here and to everyone in my community and in the cpk community i just want to give a huge huge thank you to you because Honestly, you make me so happy to hear from you and just to see the support that I've been getting. I just want you to have the best life that you can have and achieve all your dreams because you're confident and amazing and you're beautiful and I hope you know that. So I just wanted to take a little bit to show you this and to kind of give you a peek in my life because even if I'm not doing something that involves a Lolita like a meetup or talking about Lolita, I'm still wearing it most of the time. So I think it can be kind of cool to see that perspective of Wow, she is, went to her portfolio night in Lolita. She went to her graduation in Lolita. And I want to know what you want to go to college for or why don't you want to go to college or um, I want to know how your school experience was and what the biggest thing you learned from college was. Pick through any of those. And I really hope you have a wonderful day. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye! Wait, give this video a like because I need that right now. Bye, pop stars.